understand oxidation reactions, or sorry, oxidation numbers, let's use them to determine uh, in this redox reaction if something has been oxidized or reduced. And we'll talk about these questions down here. But the first thing we need to do is we need to determine the oxidation number for everything in this reaction following our four guidelines from before. And I'm going to draw my lines on here. I'm going to split up all my elements. And I've already written these in big font. And when we're dealing with reactions, one important thing to remember is you don't have to worry about the coefficients. It's probably the one time we don't have to worry about coefficients. You can do it with coefficients, but your numbers will just be bigger. And let's move to green now. Let's go through and figure out the oxidation numbers for every single one of these things. Remember, hydrogens are always plus one. Oxygens are always minus two, unless oxygen is just O2 in its own compounds, which we don't have here. Minus two, minus two, minus two. I always like water, H2O, as my reference compound because plus two for my two hydrogens, minus two does equal zero. My charge is zero there. And um, yeah, that one's good. Now, I look over here and I have copper by itself. Elements, one element only formulas by themselves, remember, have oxidation number zero. That was our first guideline. Now there's only one thing left in each of these. It's nitrogen and non-metal. Oh, I forgot about copper here. This is an ionic compound. I have two nitrates. That means that this is a copper two plus, which means it's a monatomic ion and it has its charge as its oxidation number. Now there's only one thing to solve for at most. Nitric acid, we have minus six for the three oxygens. We have plus one and it equals zero. Now, whenever there's one, sometimes I just skip putting it here and just put it right up here. That's gonna be a plus five. You can still put it there if you want to show that everything balances out, everything mathematically works out, that's fine too. But remember, when I grade these, I'm gonna be looking at this row here, not down here. You don't even have to have that row. That's part of the process. All right, well, there's three times two. There's six oxygens here. Each oxygen is minus two. That's minus 12. That's tricky. I have one carbon, sorry, one copper, and the whole thing equals zero because there's no charge up here. To do this mathematically, this must be plus 10. And be careful, there are two nitrogens. So each nitrogen is plus five. Okay. Now let's do this one here. I have two oxygens at minus two each, that's minus four. I have zero overall charge, that, and I have one nitrogen, which must itself be plus four. All right, now we're ready to look at what has been oxidized and what has been reduced. Remember, Leo the lion says, what? Grrr. That's right. Uh, <laughs> um, so uh, Leo Gurr. That stands for lose electrons oxidation. Oh, get on screen there. Gain electrons reduction. And uh, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look for elements that have changed. So my copper went from zero to plus two for its oxidation number. 
So that changed. Nitrogen went from plus five to, well, it didn't change there, but it did change here. Those are the two things that we're gonna look and see which one was uh, oxidized and which one was reduced. And here's the tricky part. When you lose electrons, electrons being negative things, the charge becomes more positive. Please write that down. When you lose electrons, the charge becomes, or the oxidation number becomes more positive. Write that right up here, please. So this is Leo. And this one, plus five to plus four, when you gain electrons, that's going to be uh, reduction. Please write that up there as well. This is grrr. Leo the lion says grrr. And the reactant that was oxidized is going to be copper. The reactant that was reduced is going to be HNO3. Specifically, nitrogen was reduced. Specifically, nitrogen was reduced. And, okay, next step. Um, if copper was oxidized, copper allowed reduction to occur. The thing that allows reduction to occur is the reducing agent. Allows reduction to occur. is copper because copper was oxidized. And so the reactant that was oxidized is always the reducing agent and the reactant that was reduced is always the oxidizing agent. And so in this case, the oxidizing agent is nitric acid, specifically N was reduced. Well, and allowed oxidation. Okay, that is a full redox reaction analysis.